As you know, the theme of this channel is where the past crashes with the present. This idea of preserving great art, music, history, culture. We talk about current events, maybe a tinge of politics. And this next story definitely fits the bill. In fact, not since the premiere of the Rite of Spring has there been such a big brouhaha than what happened at the Metropolitan Opera last Thursday night. This is at the AP, by the way. It says your climate protesters caused a pair of interruptions totaling 22 minutes during the opening night of a revival of Wagner's Tannhäuser at the Metropolitan Opera. Christian Gerhardhar, forgive my pronunciation here, in this out, I'm part German and I can't even speak German. I believe it's Christian Ger. It's G E R H A H E R. You can correct me in the comment section below. A baritone making his Met Opera debut was singing Wilfermann's second act aria on Thursday night, in which he says, quote, Und sei mir sicher, sich ein Wiederbrunnen. Before me, a miraculous spring appears. When people on either side of the balcony unfurled long vertical banners with white capital letters on a black background, quote, No opera on a dead planet. Oh, I would have loved to have been a fly in the wall at this one. And this was on the north side of the 4,000 capacity auditorium. Met general manager Peter Gelb said Friday the other banner had the name of the group Extinction Rebellion New York, which took responsibility. Can we call this an insurrection? They have the word rebellion in the title of their group here. Goes on to say here, wake up, the spring is polluted, one protester shouted, the spring is tainted, the spring is poisoned, this is a climate emergency, this is a climate crisis, there will be no opera on a dead planet. Yet another, there is no art, there is nothing on the planet that is dying, we must end fossil fuels. Let me read this again. There is no art, there is nothing, actually it says no anything. They can't even get their grammar correct here. The curtain came down as people booed and some yelled, shut up. Security removed three protesters and Galb addressed the audience, apologizing for the stoppage. Oh, I just would have loved to have been there. Because I would have shouted these damn protesters down. Give them a nice big middle finger. The performance resumed after a delay of about eight minutes as the audience applauded. But after the resumption, protesters in the orchestra section started shouting. That caused a delay of about 14 minutes as Gelb spoke to the audience again and said the performance would continue with the house lights on at 25% capacity so security could quickly identify any additional protesters. Quote, members of the company were somewhat shaken by this, including the performers, Gelb said. I consulted with Donald Runicles. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. It's R-U-N-N-I-C-L-E-S, the conductor and soloist, and explained to them that they should just keep going because, yes, because the show must go on. What they should have done is just had the brass section go up there and just blare their horns at these protesters. That's what you should have done. But we got to keep going because it would be because we would be able to remove people as we were able to see them with the lights on. At that point, there was no further demonstration the performance continued and ended about midnight, but there was a response from Extension Rebellion Insurrection New York. Quote, the brief half-hour delay was less serious and less inconvenient than the severe weather delays that are now becoming more and more frequent. Today's action highlights government and corporate neglect of climate and ecological breakdown. Well, I got news for you, sweetheart, you climate protesters, saying no opera on a dead planet. I've been around quite a bit. I'm 40 billion years old. And I've lived through hurricanes. In fact, I experienced a mild earthquake in California, two of them. I think 4.4 on the Richter scale. I've experienced wind living on the northern high plains. I've seen it all. And I'm still here. And guess what? There's not a damn thing you climate protesters can do to change it. We live on an active planet. I mean, these people are the bottom of the barrel. And I am all for clean air, water. So please don't write me in the comment section below and say that I hate the, uh, the climate. I hate the environment. 
Our key institutions, corporations, and governments function according to quarterly profits and the election cycle, respectively, like you protesters don't. Who is funding this group? That's what I'd like to know. Without regard for the long-term dangers to our survival, this system is designed to steal for, uh, from future generations, pardon me, in order to maintain a lifestyle that benefits the 1% to the detriment of everybody else. Gelb said the protesters were handed over to the police. There are seven additional performances through December 23rd of the 1977 Otto Schenk production, which stars Andreas Schager. The title role in the cast that includes Elsa van den Hever as Elizabeth Ekentriana Gubonova as Venus and George Zeppenfeld as Herman. The final performance will be broadcast on radio worldwide. Can you imagine if they have this final broadcast here and all these climate protesters show up? Hear that on live radio? Oh, that would just be so delicious. Everybody screaming at these protesters, get off the stage, get off the stage. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. Or go to X, Culture Confederacy at Culture Confed 1 on X. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States. And you know how we do it here. This is where the past crashed with the present. I'll catch you next time, and you all have a great Monday.